First of all, let's say the U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s. And when the dollar decoupled from gold, and the government seems bent on continuing that tradition. From now until after the election, the government can print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that is proven to withstand inflation. It's a biblical currency, 5,000 years. You can invest in gold with noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. And if you it, you will also get this 24 carat, uh, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin for free. A 24 carat, one quarter of an ounce gold standard coin they will send you for free. Simply go to noblegoldinvestment.com now. Noblegoldinvestments.com. Go there now. The only gold company that we can trust. Guys, set up a gold IRA. Find out all about it at noblegoldinvestment.com. On Monday, Russia announced the suspension of a humanitarian corridor established to facilitate the transportation of crucial Ukrainian grains to global markets. This decision came just hours before the expiration of the agreement. Originally initiated in July of 2022 under the auspices of the United Nations, the Black Sea Grain Initiative has undergone multiple short-term extensions, CNBC has reported. However, Russia has grown increasingly dissatisfied with perceived restrictions that it believes impede the full export of its own grain and fertilizer products. During a recent call with a South African president, Russian President Putin reiterated these grievances, expressing that the primary objective of supplying grain to countries in need, particularly in Africa, had not been accomplished through the Black Sea Grain Initiative as reported by the Kremlin. The initiative was established as a response to a global food crisis that triggered by Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, a significant grain exporting nation and neighboring country. The agreement was scheduled to expire on Monday at midnight, Istanbul time. After their dog alerted them to the presence of someone near their home, a couple called in a tip that led to the capture of an escaped Pennsylvania inmate suspected of multiple crimes. The couple recognized the fugitive, Michael Charles Burham, from news reports. Michael Charles Burham, who is 34 years old, was apprehended by authorities in Warren County around 5.50 p.m. local time on Saturday, following a week-long manhunt as confirmed by Lt. Col. George Bivens of the Pennsylvania State Police. Ron and Cindy Euclid played a crucial role in guiding authorities to Burham after their dog's barking drew their attention to his presence, NBC News reported. Ron Eklund, upon hearing the dog's alert, took a golf cart and approached the nearby creek on their property to investigate. He encountered a man standing up and inquired about his presence. According to Eklund's account to NBC News correspondent George Solis, the man claimed to be camping. Concerned, Eklund instructed his wife, who was outside the golf cart, to return to the house. Together, they promptly reported the sighting to the authorities, leading to Burham's subsequent capture. The Eklund's swift action and collaboration with law enforcement were instrumental in bringing the situation to a resolution. In a significant breakthrough, researchers at North Carolina State University have harnessed the power of CRISPR gene editing technology to develop popular trees with reduced lignin levels. Lignin has long been a major hurdle in achieving sustainable wood fiber production. Published in the journal Science, this research opens doors to more efficient and environmentally friendly fiber manufacturing processes, SciTech Daily has reported. The findings hold the potential to revolutionize fiber production for a wide range of applications, including paper and diapers, by making it greener, more affordable, and highly efficient. Under the leadership of CRISPR pioneer Rodolf Berengau, 
and tree geneticist Jack Wang, the NC State research team employed predictive modeling to establish targets for lignin reduction, increased the carbohydrate to lignin CL ratio, and enhancing the ratio of two vital lignin components. These specific chemical characteristics represent an optimal scenario for fiber production as determined by Berengau and Wang. 